What up, guys? I'd just like to thank you all for all of the support on Star Wars recently before we get into this episode, of course. And I'd like to let you know, because of all your support, there's a surprise coming in the next episode that you guys are going to love. So anyway, that's really it. I don't want to hold you too long. We gotta, we gotta, right, stop talking, start the video, here we go. Okay, uh, I believe it was up here. This is where I applied for the mining job, I believe. It should be the cave, I thought it was, it's gotta be somewhere up here, right? Somewhere? I think? Um, ye Right, okay, that makes sense. They flooded it. I was about to say what happened, but I remember now. They flooded it. They flooded the cave that I worked so hard in for two days. I came to check it out to see the operations, but it looks like this diamond, th this, I was going to say diamond mine, but it's not a diamond mine anymore. It's just a cave at this point. They mined all the diamonds. Where are the new caves? Where are the people? Where do they have to go? Is it, is Brady making them go farther out into the desert? I bet you he is. Brady's making them go crazy far out into the desert. Brady's forcing the people to walk miles to the other diamond mines. We didn't go to those when we were kids, or and no one went to them because they were so far out. But now that this one's empty, the one that was right near our hometown, Brady's making them walk. Let's take a little trip. Okay, without falling in the water here, let's go ahead and hop in this boat. Okay, let's see. I, I, they kept the lanterns in here, at least. I mean, look how deep some of these areas are. I remember I worked right in this little corridor for the first two days that I worked here, and you know, before I got fired. But why is there a boat here? And why are there still lights here? You'd think after this long of time, they'd have removed all the lights and boats for resources. I like this. Oh, oh, ow, ow. Look at this little cavern. I don't remember this being here. I'm going to quickly hop out and take a... Oh. Because I don't have to fall, take a swim. Where'd the boat go? It's over there now. Okay. I can see all the sandstone. If I were to break this, I'd probably get back to the mountain. Wait a minute. How deep does this go under here? Whoa! What? I don't remember there being that deep of a cavern in the diamond mine. At all, in fact. I don't remember that at all. What's down here? Look at this, this is so cool. What's this light though? What is this? Time out, time out. Why is there a guard here? What's going on? This cave was not here. I'm 100% sure this is not natural. That and there's a guard right here. Guard, explain yourself. What is this place? Explain soon or die. Yes, sir. Now explain what this place is. Tell me. What is this place? You are not supposed to be here. I don't care if I'm not supposed to be here. What is this place? Tell me now. This is a secret place? Look, I don't care if it's secret or not. What type of secret is it? Whose secret is it? Are you guards planning on rebelling against Kara's rule? Is that what this place is? I should take you in now and kill you myself. It's the rebellion. So you are rebelling against Kara, are you? That's what you're doing? No? What do you mean, no? What type of rebellion is it then? You're not with the rebels, are you? 
against Brady. I see. Does Kara know about this? Answer me, boy. It's hers. I see. So Kara has a secret meeting room underwater to meet with rebels. Well, this is to be no more. I'm canceling this operation. Working with rebels, I don't care who she thinks she is. Working with rebels is not something we do. Kara is going to hear a piece of my mind. That is unacceptable. I understand she wants to kill Brady, but working with rebels is not the way to do it. Getting out of this stupid cave, fine. I'll swim out myself, you useless boat. God. Kara is going to hear a piece of my mind. What she's doing is not okay, and she knows this. She knows this indeed. Kara, I understand you fear Brady. I understand that you fear every fiber of his being. But I can beat him. I can set Denzabar free, and we can rule the galaxy together, but you need to believe me. I need to talk with Kara at once. Kara and me are going to have a nice chat about her actions. Working with rebels? I can't believe it. Guards, get out of my way. Kara! Yes? You have explaining to do. Kara. I had... I went to the cave. I saw your little rebel outpost meeting room, whatever you want to call it. I found it, Kara. You were meeting with the rebels. Yes, I was. I didn't have any other choice. It was justified. Kara, working with the rebels is never justified. I don't care who anyone is. I don't care that your family don't ever work with rebels. They're weak, Kara. Weak and pathetic. As you know, I used to be a Jedi. I used to fight alongside the rebels. And I myself was too weak to save my own master. I watched my master Ibo Na die right before my very eyes. And do you know who killed him, Kara? Do you understand what I'm doing? Yes. Exactly. Brady killed my master, and now I am going to kill Brady. Brady mm -hmm. will die. But I, I give Brady credit. He accepted me into the land of Sith. He accepted me into the power of darkness. If it wasn't for Brady, I would still be the weak, insignificant little boy I was. However, Brady didn't foresee my power coming in so quickly, and now Brady is going to die. Brady is going to die. I don't know when, nor have I made that decision, but that is not important, Kara. That is not important. What is important is you canceling all future communication with the rebels. Do you understand that? Yes. You're not to ever communicate with them again. Rebels are weak and they are scummy. They will stab you in the back quicker than anything you've ever known. Rebels are weak. Moose is weak! Drives me nuts just thinking of him. Do you understand that, Kara? Moose is weak! Your guards are pure reminder of those rebels. That's why I hate your guards, Kara. You understand that? Every single one of your guards is pathetically weak, and every time I look at them, all I can think of is pathetic rebels. Guards, <sighs> leave at once. I can't stand you in my sight. Do you understand that? All of you, leave! You're gonna disobey me? You're not going to leave when I ask you? Look me in the eyes! And now watch your own death.
You see, Kara, your guards didn't fight back, nor did they listen. Exactly what the rebels are going to do. Except you're going to be on the other end of that lightsaber. They will kill you. They will end you. Don't work with the rebels again. Fine, all right, all right. Now come out here. We must talk. I said leave! Kara, this land we grew up in, this land we fight for, is under Brady's control. We must bring it back to what it was. That will be the first thing we do as the Sith Lords of the Galaxy. All Kara, right. I think it's time we kill Brady. And we have this ending battle right here. What a fitting death for Brady to die in the exact place he was born, in the place where our family grew up, in the place where his evil, dark ways were born, and to send him back off into the oblivion. Does that sound good, Kara? Yes. We finish off Brady tonight. Tonight is the night. We must begin our plan. It's time for Brady to die. And it's time to end his reign. Brady, your rule has but brought nothing but hatred and destruction to Denzabar. You will pay. <laughs> I heard about your utter defeat to Raigai. If you can't beat him, you definitely cannot beat me. Brady. It is you who will be defeated, not us. You see, Brady, you're not only surrounded, but if I alone have the ability to defeat you, myself and Kara will have no trouble in defeating you. You see, Brady, why risk injury when I can defeat you here and end your pathetic existence? Me and Kara will take over the galaxy. And we will rule the galaxy in our way. Rule Denzabar our way. Do you understand that, Brady? It's time for you to die. <laughs> Rai guy, there's only one thing you care about. And what is that? And that is Kara. <laughs> <laughs>